Hey everybody, how are you doing? My name is Bob Evan and I sell products on Amazon. Eric, thank you for starting this um, this live today and I want to present to you my presentation and before we continue here, yeah, let me set it all together. So today we have a lot of stuff to cover. If you've seen my welcome video, I showed you that I will actually deliver you some different ways of finding products to sell online and I will show you different products to avoid. And my goal with this webinar is actually to have you living with something awesome today, something new you've learned. And yeah, and obviously let me just deliver straight away what you're getting. So let me just show you here's what I promised to deliver. So first, 15 lessons on ways to find profitable products to sell online. And then how to validate the products you find so you can launch profitable stuff and reach your financial and life goals. And a little bit of motivation here on the financial and life goals part. Well, you gotta know your why because you're here for some reason on the webinar. Yes, I guess you're here for some reason. Think why you're here, yes. And this is gonna be easier for you to reach your financial and life goals once you actually understand why you're doing stuff. So think about it, right? So we're gonna validate products that we're gonna find. And three, which type of products or product criteria to avoid when looking for products so you won't have to lose money like i did i'm an amazon seller i'm going to tell you my story in a little bit but i lost some money on amazon generally online i don't want you to lose money because it kind of sucks so <laughs> and we're gonna have 10 cool niche ideas from amz scout that i will share with you so these are the things i promise to deliver well let's interact a bit so just one thing that i would like to see something in the chat maybe you can type something see if you're here where are you from let me see who's here we have some attendees here, Yazan, India, I see Chow, Charlie, Cynthia, Dolores, Elinda, so many people from so many countries, probably Haley, Yvette, Jack, everybody, welcome. Um, really happy to have you here. And as you've seen, I'm going to deliver on the promises. And well, let's kind of go. Let's continue with the uh, presentation. But before that, let me um, present AMD Scout because I'm here on behalf of AMD Scout. AMD Scout is one of the best tools for product research in the world. And AMD Scout helps Amazon and e-commerce sellers launch their businesses, maintain profitability, and grow income. It's pretty cool. AMD Scout Pro Extension has over 250,000 users around the globe, from beginner sellers to companies like Casio, Red Bull, and Dell. So you can see uh, the Casio, Red Bull, and Dell signs there, their logos. And they helped launch over 320,000 profitable products, which is by itself pretty cool, right? Now, so have I been selling products on Amazon like since always? Well, no. So here's how it started. And I'll tell you my short story really quickly. In 2014, I went traveling in Southeast Asia and <laughs> some pictures from me then. I was traveling a whole year through Southeast Asia backpacking. I had two backpacks with me. I just went all around the world alone, finding new people, new friendships, making lots of friends and kind of discovering myself i'm kind of adventurous and i like meeting people I like interacting and it took me to seven countries or 50 cities i think i think there were like 15 planes i took throughout this journey and maybe you're thinking like how's it connected to e-commerce well then i met just one person and this is varun there all right this is somewhere in the end of my one year travel varun changed my life all right and let me explain how varun changed my life varun actually told me that I had some traveling stories, hopefully, I don't know. And he told me, man, like you have some cool stuff to share. Why don't you share it with the world in a travel blog? And I was like, well, what is a travel blog exactly? You told me, yeah, you can kind of create a travel blog and share stuff that you kind of travel and what you do online with people, help them travel and earn some money. And I had this big aha moment. I was like, wait a minute, I can actually travel, do things I like and actually you know, make money out of it. So it's pretty cool. It was like a big hammer for me, internet money, right? And then my intern hustle began. I was working as a lifeguard when I got back home. You can see me here listening to different podcasts. And uh, that was my first uh, kind of uh, shop I had, a molten wear, or selling fitness products, never really did anything. That's me as a lifeguard. Nothing really worked. 2016, I made $2 online. I sold the stock photo in 2020. That's a website for stock photos, $2, guys. So. I mean, but I still continued and I never lost face. And you too, whoever's watching, you're, there's so many names, probably many countries, many places, never lose face, please. No matter where you are right now, I know that you're an entrepreneur if you're here, if you have this gene that you kind of overcome whatever comes at you, then just continue because you're maybe that close. And around September 16, I discovered Amazon FBA, launched the first product in January 17. 
since then, three years into it, <laughs> I became a Buddhist monk. And now I would like to share a mantra with you. No, I'm joking. I didn't truly really become a Buddhist monk. It's, I moved to live in Thailand, actually. And that's the big Buddha in Phuket. And uh, life really changed. I opened a YouTube channel. My name is Vova Evan there. If you want to see, I share stuff about Amazon FBA. I start interviewing people. That's me in Singapore with Liang Sungun, my friend. He's an intern marketer. That's on the left, my supplier from China, Louis, who started doing some online uh, education. You see my friend Alex there in the middle picture he's designer working for me and that's a normal day at the office like life changed in three years and that's because i took the leap of faith and actually did something and i want you to do this as well i want you to take action and just do whatever you want and don't be afraid to believe in yourself allow yourself to do things because you may be that close right so let's start i, I guess now we're a bit more familiar with each other and uh, hopefully we are and so let's start if we are can you type a yes in the chat so i can see that we actually are and uh let's get going let's see what makes a product worth selling online that's very important because you want some good information i'm here to deliver so what do we need as a product to sell online high demand low competition one markets where people want to buy something they want to buy stuff and there are not many people giving them the stuff low competition that is in this market have much higher chances to succeed because you're providing something that people are looking for and there's no competition Two, weak competition, low review counts, bad pictures, bad copy. They don't understand audiences, ETC. That means in this market that you're looking for, the competition is weak. That means pretty much the, the, the ones that are competing there, they have bad reviews. That means you can fix whatever is in this product market, so to say. They have bad pictures. They don't know how to present their products. Bad copy. They don't know how to talk about their product. And they don't understand the audience. Maybe they're selling a fishing pole to somebody like on their picture who's wearing a uniform of a cop like somebody who doesn't understand i've seen this stuff by the way three high selling price low sourcing price you want to sell something for high and buy for low that's gonna make you obviously more margins and money pretty straightforward right for stable or growing sales trend over the years you gotta look at the trends we're gonna be speaking about all this i will leave you with good good information after this webinar trust me i did really good work here and hopefully you will get something out of this so stable or growing sales trend of this you want to see the sales trend is it going up down or at least it should be stable but preferably going up and could be turning the line of product that means you can brand this product it means you, for example you can buy let me see what i have here we have a a notebook right you can create you can create a product as a notebook and then sell a pen as well here's a pen that's the line of products so once you're going to be looking for products think brand think similar products because then you can do one plus one sales buy this and get this for free and all sorts of stuff cross promotions get much easier for you and number six that's a bonus niche knowledge if you are for example you're a girl and you're familiar with hair you know like i have a bit curly hair and you know you can uh, you know kind of work with hair products you know something about hair well you have some advantage in the hair niche so to say you have much more chances to kind of so to say be a better seller because you know more information about this right does this make sense these are like six basic points if that makes sense, drop me a yes in the chat. Let me see the chat here. Um, let's see what you're saying. Let's see in the chat if that makes sense. Where, where am I from? By the way, I just saw the question. I was born in Ukraine <laughs> and uh, I've spent my, a lot of my life traveling around the world, but I was born in Ukraine, that's near Russia uh, in 1991. So that's 20, 29 years ago, 1991. Yes, I'm, I'm 29 now. <laughs> So if this makes sense, let's continue, right? Hopefully you're enjoying and yeah, let's continue with the webinar. So these are the six points kind of that are basic. So here are some ways to find products. Buckle up guys, because we have 10 product products that will come with surprises here as well, because I, I, I wanted to bring you 10 profitable products, 15 ways of finding products, and we have lots of stuff to, carry, to cover here. So I want you to be like these guys, with their products on having your products whatever you're going to find you have more chances after this webinar to find products so there come as surprises i'm going to share different product surprises and well you're going to see the surprises so let's start boom here's the first surprise actually that's your first product idea <laughs> i was not expecting right so what's going on here that's an angle grinder and on the right we're seeing google trends that means how this product does on Google in the trends. You can go to Google Trends, you can type it in Google, you're gonna see how the trend is going over time, all right? Type in the, the uh, name of the product, right? And you have United States, and we have the time from 2004 until present. We can see that Angle Grinder is raising, right? You can check out this product, and that's the product idea for you. So this is a raising market from 2004, it's just going up. 
That's a good idea for markets. And we have nine more to go. So let's continue for a while. So first way to find products to sell online. 15 ways, to name way number one, Google gift blogs. So for example, you go to Google, you type in gifts for men, all right? That's your, for example, you're typing something like this. Why gifts? Gifts have a higher chance of selling through the gift period, like Christmas or any other thing. People have birthdays, for example, gifts for men. I'm a man, I would like to get something as a gift. Maybe a watch, maybe um, something else. <laughs> I thought of the watch because of the Casio, but in this list, we can find lists of or blogs with gifts so for example gifts for men if you type it in google you're gonna have these different lists you click on the list so for example 50 gifts for men 2020 you're gonna have a lot of different options there to find products that are gifts for men you you can find like fishing poles there you can find boots you can find watches you know men stuff like stuff to shave the beard i shaved a little bit today kind of well, and the second method is quite worthy method, right? The first one was blogs, generally finding blogs with gifts and seeking products there. The next one is quite worthy method. What does it mean? For example, gifts for men, then you do space. The quite worthy works with space. So you type anything, you, you press on space, and then you're gonna have more additions to the products you can find, right? So essentially gifts for men, under 50, under $25, gifts for men who have everything or gifts for men who like to cook. So. And then again to some different blogs in Google. For example, 51 gifts for dad that loves to cook, grill, and drink. Click on this, you're gonna find lots of products. I have a little red up red arrow there and it says people also ask, and this is a little bonus tip for you because in this way you can actually understand like some other related things. For example, what to get a guy who loves fishing. You click on that, there's gonna be lots of different things, right? That's method number two. Weather number three, that's a crazy one, guys. That's very strong because you can be searching for products with Google Trends and it's called Google Trends Related Queries, right? So I typed in hemorrhoids. Don't ask why, just <laughs> something came to my mind. Hemorrhoids is kind of a disease. Hopefully you'll never get any disease, but you know, hemorrhoids. And I typed in United States as the country we're gonna be looking for and 2004 until present. That's the time of the gap of the kind of the keyword history. So we can see that actually this one is going down. You're like, Vova, but you told us something that should go up. Hmm. Well, it's kind of stable now, but the thing is, if you scroll down the page a little bit, you're gonna have this thing, you're gonna have related queries, right? It says rising, and we have Sid's bath there. That's something I thought, Sid's bath? It sounds like, interesting, what is Sid's bath? So, and then I typed in Sid's bath in the Google Trends, all right, and I saw that Sid's bath actually is going up. So again, the idea is to find the related queries. You're gonna be down the Google Trends page, all right? Take notes, guys, it's really strong for any niche on the internet, for any business, really good. Sid's bath is actually on the rise. And that's your second product idea. That's Sid's bath. This product is on the rise, as you can see, and it's serving, it's solving the problem of hemorrhoids and some other stuff. So remember, once you're looking for products, solve problems, understand the problems of the market, identify them, and give them solutions. That is, oh, that's it. And of course, bring better products. Third product idea alert. That's an angle grinder disc. <laughs> you see, I told you they're gonna be a bit like coming out of nowhere to you, but Angle grinder disc, guys, is connected to the angle grinder. That's the disc for this product. Maybe the angle grinder is too big, too expensive for you. Sometimes you have to think around the product that you found. What can you find? Maybe fishing. That's fishing pole. That's fishing waders. That's fishing hat. That's fishing suits, right? So the same with the angle grinder. And we can see the disc is on the rise here. Pretty cool, right? So I have a question. Are you enjoying the method so far? Is this something that makes sense to you? Maybe you can type something in the chat and let me know. Um, maybe some question or something i would like to answer help you you know and of course i have a place for questions later on so yeah thank you for participation for now and i'll get back and i'll kind of tell you that these three methods are kind of easy yes but not really because you don't know how to validate the products it's going to be a bit harder to like where, where did they come with the hemorrhoids from and uh you know all the other ones i just kind of thought about them and had some ideas but it might not be the easiest way okay there are some harder, some easiest way. I have 13 more ways to share with you. So can I continue, please? Thank you, hopefully, yes. <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying the presentation. And number four, we have AMC Scout web app. This is something that helps us find products as well. Brainstorm product ideas, spy your competition, discover profitable keywords. Let me show you what this is all about. So I gotta get out of my presentation and move here to amzscout.net and the product database. What is a product database by AMZ Scout? Let me explain. This is something that kind of makes the process much easier. And let me explain you how. So in the product database, what you can do is you can, from all the huge 
pool of products on Amazon that AMZ Scout has and have like, I believe millions of products in their database, you can laser target specific criteria of products in order to find them. So let me let me explain you what's going on. So for example, you can choose the category here in the product database. For example, you want to look for products in office and baby and automotive parts, right? And these products will also have price between $25, $29, $50 reduced. They're going to be weights maximum of one LBS, which is one pound, right? With the estimate revenue of $10,000 at least per month, right? These are filters you type in in order to narrow down your research criteria, right? You want to kind of find more ways to research products, right? You want to, how to say, you want to laser down on a niche. You want to, for example, you have some ideas. You want to find something that has the price of $25 to $29. Yes, you want to find products in the baby category. Maybe you're a mom. We have some girls here in the uh, chat I've seen. It's pretty cool. Have guys, girls, we're mixed, I guess, audience from different countries. So it's pretty exciting because, as I mentioned before, I got to kind of travel many countries, but that's not the point. The point more is that, yes, there are different, categories you can search in so and after implying all these things here i clicked on find products and it found me this specific product that's board to buy magnetic whiteboard okay this product was found based on all the criteria that i've entered okay and on this product for example i can see this product obviously on amazon let me show you an example i go here and it takes me straight to amazon okay i just can see this product that's a pretty cool magnetic board and what we can see aside from this here Right. We can see that this product can be even found on Alibaba. Alibaba is a place to find products, like to, to kind of um, source products. Right. We have some other things here. We can add the product to tracker, which we're going to be speaking about in a bit. We can see the estimated revenue of this product. Look how cool is that? You can see actually some data about products. For example, on Google Trends, we did see like some rising niches, but how much was it making? What was it doing? We didn't really know. But here you have much more information. For example, we see the price. We see the fees. We can even have a little calculator here that tells us, for example, what's the product cost? For example, we would source this board for $4, say yes. And then automatically the calculator takes the Amazon fees away. That's specifically for Amazon. I know some of you are from different marketplaces, but on Amazon, Amazon takes some fees, right? You're going to take the fees automatically and all the fees that Amazon takes with the price of $4 that it costs us to bring it to, so to say, to the market, to Amazon, for example, to the warehouse. We're going to be profiting $12 from this specific item with specific price of $25. That's given us a net of $12, about 6K profit per month, which is pretty cool, right? I mean, this is just a way to kind of calculate whatever you're seeing pretty fast. You see, instead of going manually and being lost, I know how lost can you be with product research. Like when I was searching for my products in Amazon, when I just first started, I was really lost. I was just sitting through the lists of products and it was much harder back in the day when i started there was less software back in the day when i started and we had to be more manual which is still doable but very hard and we have see, we see reviews we have see all different things about the product and that's the product database it kind of eases down your product research in a much easier way another thing around here we have the product tracker we can actually take this product and track it and see how it does over time and i've added it here but the thing is i just added it today kind of for the sake of the example and well, it didn't really show me the tracking over time, but I did track specifically for you a product over time, this grill brush by Grill Art. And what I can see here is, is some tracking history for two weeks that I was tracking it. And we can see the estimated sales per day it was making. We can even see what's going on with this product all the time. For example, the 6th, 5th of April, it made 187 estimated sales. On the 7th of April, it did 213. And we had some inventory. Inventory is how many units they had in stock. So we had a lot of information with the product tracker as well. And you can see some information on the right. Again, the net, the price. That's pretty much the calculator again. And that's called the tracker. So essentially, you take the product. When you find it in the product database, you take it to the tracker next. And then you have also keywords explorer, right? That's number three. Now, we got to stop here for a second to kind of slow the pace because I want it to be more understood to you. But these ways, again, product database and tracker, I used to track products that you found in a much easier way and actually finding what they're making, how much. That's the big question. You know, we as Amazon sellers or e-commerce entrepreneurs are like, well, we want to source this product, but how much do I make? How much is the revenue here? Well, you can check it here. You can validate it is with the uh, product tracker, essentially. That's pretty cool, right? Next thing we can do, we can take this product. For example, it's a grill brush, but what else is connected to grill brush? We can take this product and use the keyword explorer here. We input grill brush in the keyword explorer and what the keyword explorer does is gonna give you all the keywords connected to this product, grill brush, 
Grow Brush Bristle Free, BBQ Grow Brush, and this way you can further conduct your product research. For example, you have your grill brush and tongs. Maybe people are buying books, tongs and a grill brush. Maybe that's a set. Maybe tongs is a new product that we just found. All right, you see the cool thing? Next part, we have product keywords. Keywords will allow you to take a specific product, for example, again, this grill brush by Grill Art, and then we will input it into here, into the keywords, and then it will give all the keywords to us, or to you actually, that this product has. For example, grill brush, grill brushes, grill accessories, grill scraper tool, and many others that are connected to this specific product. And this way you can further conduct the research to this specific product. You're like, oh, I'm liking the grill brush. It seems cool. But what are what's there? What are the keywords? Well, there's grill tool, grill brush, Bristol free, grill cleaner, etc. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? And then what you can do, you can even track the keywords. So you can take this specific product, yes, the barbecue brush, and you can see how specific keyword acts. You know, Eric showed us his marketplace previously. It's a bit different. It's not kind of keyword based, but Amazon is. So you know, we're presenting different things, which is pretty cool, I think. And Grill brush, for example, we can see how the keyword is performing. So, for example, it was doing this. Um, I mean, sorry, it was on this amount of rank. For example, rank number five for the keyword grill brush. Okay, here it was rank number three. So it kind of got an up. The higher it goes, the less sales it gets. Because if you're rank number one, you get 100 sales. For example, rank number 20, you get two sales. Okay, it makes sense on the pages. Once you're buying, think about it. And that's the uh, that's the uh, database. All right. Now let me get back to the presentation and click here to present. Hope you're enjoying thus far and understanding everything. Here's the next thing I want to show you as a product research method. Number five, we have 10 more to go. Of course, I'll go back to Eric as well. He has a lot of stuff to share with you. But AMZ Scout Extension Pro, that's I think the, the pie kind of thing. And it really eases the job of finding products. So let me explain you why. And I'll show you live because I think live is much more fun, right? I mean, rather than seeing slides which is still nice i can show you the live what's pretty cool so we go to amazon and we're on amazon page right now we have some kitchen scissors here you know just cutting stuff and uh you know i don't have scissors here but you know kitchen scissors and i want to show you how the chrome extension works before that i want to show you other chrome extension that is also part of amz scout tools and here it is it's called quick view once you're going to be on a listing on amazon for example you're an e-commerce entrepreneur you're looking for products or to sell on amazon specifically and you're hovering over a page and imagine that you didn't have this one right you didn't have that you just see like scissors 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 with this one you can actually see what's under each product what does it have like what are the size of the product what are the fees of amazon what's the margin of this product who's selling the product makes it much more easier which is a pretty cool extension by itself you can also hover over a product and kind of over over product yes thank you <laughs> you can uh, kind of see the bullets of the product you can see the history of sales of the product you can see even the keywords connected to this product let me give an example you see kitchen scissors kitchen scissors heavy duty again for your product research everything is for you to kind of get the best product research does this make sense pretty cool and the next thing is the chrome extension here so we click here on great niche that's gonna open it and let me explain you what's going on here exactly that's Maybe it seems weird, a lot of numbers. Let me explain it to you. That's not that hard. It's actually pretty easy. It's actually very easy and it eases your life as an e-commerce entrepreneur pretty much. And how? How does it ease your life? It's going to scrape all the data of the Amazon page. So instead of going one scissor, two scissor, three scissors, you have 53 scissors here in, in one shot. <laughs> and then it's going to give you monthly averages for sales, for rent, for prices. And it's going to give you the niche score. Niche score is a pretty interesting thing. Let me go to niche score. It's going to tell you how likely you are you to succeed in this niche like again you can't really rely on each thing here like it says 10 out of 10 which is pretty cool but you still gotta take it with a grain of salt you gotta check more things obviously but what's nice about this is it's gonna tell you specific things about this niche competition very strong you see demand great profit very high it's gonna give you the margins the number of reviews for example it says numerous reviews you need a lot of reviews to get sales right so it's kind of checking niche and tells you a lot of stuff we have the niche history we gotta stop here I'm gonna make it blank. That's a very important part. Please listen to me. What is this? How do we understand? Why, why do we need niche history? For example, you're looking for products online, and you're interested in specific products. And with this specific uh, application, you can check the sales history. What does that mean? For a whole year, look at this: 2020, 23rd of April, and to the 25th of April, 2000. You can see how the sales were going for this niche. 
It was a bit better in 2018, going down, but now it's going up. The trend is actually going up for the sales. Pretty cool, right? You, you have it in front of your eyes. And also, you can check the price. How was the price of the niche? So it started as around 15, got it down to 13, got it up. And now it's a bit, now it's going down a bit, it's gone a, a bit up. And you can also see them in the same time. You see the, the sales are climbing up, the price is coming down. So that kind of tells you things that the competition is doing, right? That's pretty cool, I guess. And that's niche history. You have some other stuff here. You have filters. You can filter everything you see here. For example, you want to see scissors that are only priced at $20 and up, for example. Yes, and many other things. But let's click on apply. Boom, you only have these. Maybe you want to look for the premium prices. Maybe you want to sell the higher end scissors. You have it here. In other filters, of course, as well. If you click here on trends, it's going to take you to Google Trends that I, that I showed you before, which is a pretty th cool thing. As you can see here, boom, the kitchen scissors, and there's a huge spike in demand. I guess because people are cutting stuff at home right now, you know, they are, you know, cooking, you know, we're kind of blocked. Most of us, hopefully you're not, but I think you are. <laughs> I mean, the chances are just high that you are. You have a tutorial for this, and niche idea is going to give you like a random niche if you click on it. So it's like gift niches, you just get give niche, niche, niche. And then you have different products here. So, for example, you have this Swilling JA Handles. That's a big brand of scissors, right? Swilling is Willing. And you can see the price of the scissors, the FBA fees. You can click here again. You can have the FBA calculator. You can see here, yes. And we can see the product price and the product cost. For example, it costs us $3 to get these scissors here to Amazon. We can see the ROI, which is pretty crazy, with $39. Maybe they're like $5, right? The scissors still 509% ROI, net margin 63%. Like, all in front of your eyes, which is pretty nice, right? That's the Chrome extension. And that's pretty cool. We have niche history here, all the information in front of your eyes. So that's the uh, Chrome extension, the Pro Chrome extension. Eases your life while you're searching for products on Amazon, obviously, yes, but you can take it to other marketplaces as well. You can, because Amazon is such a huge marketplace for products. So use it, take it, pretty awesome. And let me go back to my presentation. And just one thing, I would like to see some activity in the chat. Let's see if I have some chat questions. Hope you're enjoying. And yeah, hope you are. Hope you're learning. There's a bunch of other stuff to come. And let me just present again here, get inside the presentation. So I just wanted to say thank you for your time, attention, and activity. I see that you're active. I appreciate that a lot. It's really nice for me to see that. I appreciate you watching. I know how valuable your time is, and that's why I'm trying to give you practical content, something you can take and then understand, use in your future. And I gotta say something. Look, like if you're not superbly interested in like finding profitable products in a kind of easy and fast way and validate them in more of an easy and fast way, that's fine. That's up to you. But if you are really interested in finding products faster in an easier way and kind of finding the more profitable stuff and stuff that actually will have more chances to bring to you whatever you can for maybe you're looking to quit your job i did quit my job by the way i was a lawyer as i mentioned and it took me about a year after i started amazon to finally make the leap of faith you know and quit or maybe you want to travel or maybe you have a family you want to take care of so Maybe the next thing is going to be interesting for you. And I would just want to ask you a question. So would you like to easily find winning products to sell, validate them, and avoid the bad ones today? Yes? Awesome. So I need to switch again to my browser. And I need to take you to my browser again here. And I want to show you something. So start selling Amazon with the AMZ Scout to build a sustainable 10K a month income working from home. Learn exactly what you need to start to start selling profitable products in less than three months. Get the tools to base your product choice and marketing on accurate data to protect your hard earned money. And I know like how hard money gets earned, like it's not easy. It's not easy even as an e-commerce entrepreneur, but still it's uh, very important to, to protect your money that you've earned you know, in a hard way. But with AMD Scout Amazon Sellers Bundle, you will learn how to find a profitable product, source it and sell it on Amazon with the AMZ Scout Sellers course, it covers everything. Find and validate product ideas to identify a product worth selling with web app tra product tracker that we've sold the tracker. Web app product base where we sold the kind of uh, products that we could choose from. It'd be a calculator, you know, where we sold the margins and pro extension. That's the last thing we sold to kind of bird eye view of everything. Get guaranteed niches and products with extremely high potential delivered to you every week. This is AMZ Scout exclusive feature with annual subscription. This is something I've never seen. This is an exclusive thing that's happening today. And I think that's, 
I, I think is AMZ Scout, maybe somebody from the support guys. I, I don't know. This is one of the coolest things, and I'll cover it in a bit. But the second, get guidance on sourcing your product and opening an Amazon account with AMZ Scout seller scores and pro extension. Find the best keywords for listing and PPC campaign to attract customers. That's for Amazon more, yes, we're speaking, with Web App Keyword Explorer and Web App Async Keyword Lookup. You know, we're looking, for, we're looking for the keywords. That's the one. Stay ahead of the market. Monitor the effectiveness of your PPC and keep an eye on the competition to respond to any listing or pricing changes. So with these things, as I mentioned here, pretty much everything is covered once you're selling Amazon with the help of Web App Keyword Tracker, Web App Product Tracker, and Pro Extension. So use AMZ Scout tools to find a profitable Amazon business and stay independent from the job market, right? So if you, so when I was working as a lifeguard, I was kind of dependent on the job market. I guess that was my life back then. Like, I mean, I was a lifeguard. That was pretty nice work. I liked it. I never hated my job, by the way. I liked it, but still I wanted something more. I guess like you, you want something more. I guess you can feel that as an entrepreneur, no matter which part of your life you're at, that's usually how it is. And AMZ Scout Sabano has all the tools you know and know how that you need to launch and grow your Amazon business. Take a look at the six steps journey profit. Step number one, learn how to sell on Amazon. For this, we have the Amazon Sellers course. And I don't know if Amazon Scouts allows me to do that, but I'll take you a little inside the course, <laughs> all right? So, because I really want to show you what's inside. And in the course, you have a bunch of lessons. It's about two and a half hours. And inside the course, you're going to pretty much learn all the basics because then all your kind of questions are going to get answered. You have a Facebook group and you can post comments down in every lesson. So that means in every lesson, something is not understood. You don't, you're like, yeah, but I didn't understand how to source exactly the product and someone's gonna answer to you, either from the community or from AMZ Scout team or the Facebook group. You can use this as well to interact there, which is pretty cool. Community is very strong because people can help people. Like I'm helping you, the same thing. <laughs> but there are gonna be other Amazon sellers as well. So over 100,000 sellers have kicked off their business with our course. I just wanna take some drink of water because, um, you know. <laughs> okay, gotta be. I just I'm excited to be presenting this to you and it's just a nice day today. I hope you're doing well. So let's continue. So the main topics in the course are how to find a profitable product, find suppliers and product label products, PPC marketing campaign, issues that come up along the sales journey and how to deal with them. That course shows everything. Identify the best niches to invest in. That's the pro extension here that we saw. Yes, you can use the pro extension to validate everything because you have everything there, the niche score or other things. You see the review, sales volume, listing qualities and others exclusive Amazon site. So get ready to go niches and products that are top 1% delivered to you. Remember, I told you there's something pretty, pretty, pretty like one, I never saw this happening before. So let me explain. For the annual subscription only, every month you will receive two niches and two products that are absolutely strongest out of 50,000 niches. <laughs> so once a week you'll get a product or a niche that are in the top 1% opportunities in their category. That adds up to 52, 52 fantastic potential product launches in a year. Market value of that exclusive research alone is $499. And do you understand what's going on? Let me explain you again. Every week, you're gonna get a product to you that's validated by AMZ Scout and just sent to you every week of the year, something you that is 1% of the top. Even if you're like watching TV, don't watch TV too much, obviously, yes. I mean, enjoy, but you know, you gotta be kind of working. But even if you're just like chilling and you know, just Mind your own business, boom, you have an email, you have a product. You're like, wow, that's a nice product. So you're going to get these every week. So less than 5% of the potential to grow a business. The rest will make no real profit or result in a loss. This is why careful database research is crucial. I don't know how right is the 5%. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Like It depends on your research, but that's kind of true because it's hard to find a good niche, but they're going to be sending you them. And they put a lot of time into that. You're going to maximize your chance to hit 10 thousand dollars a month niche with ready to go niche that's what they send you every week i think that's the one of the strongest parts of the bundle but let's continue there's still strong parts step number three you have web app product tracker product database and fba calculator you saw these things that i've used them and you remember this one yes you can input specific criteria different things here in order to kind of find the products you need yes based on seller type reviews the keywords categories many things and product. with product tracking, we can track live sales. Remember, we're tracking the live sales. You can see actually how much this product is making today, tomorrow. This way, you can kind of understand. Source your product. It's going to be explained in the course and the extension to help because you can go to Alibaba from there. You can source from Alibaba. It's all in the course as well. Reach your customers. So, web app keyword, web app ASIN keyword lookup. Pretty much 
uh, that's the keywords to understand where your sales are coming from, where to advertise. You have these things for this web app keyword explorer where you have the keywords connected or you take keywords from our competitors, which is pretty cool. And this is where you use async keyword lookup to track competitors' keywords to instantly move up to their level. You see somebody killing it, somebody crushing it in their niche kind of, and you just input his async, that specific number, into the async keyword lookup, and you get all the keywords, and you understand, oh, that's where he's getting his sales from. I didn't understand that. That's why I told you in the beginning, it's hard to understand it with kind of the, you know, the, the normal methods. And so number six, stay ahead of the market. Like, tools from Amazon, so tools from Amazon sellers bundle, you will use in this step. It's web app keyword tracker, web app product tracker and pro extension, yes. Um, these kind of, kind of let you, how to say, uh, explain you how are your organic positions are doing. How is your product doing on the market once you've launched it? Yes, because you can track the keywords, your positions, all right? And that's all the bundle. You have pretty much everything you have explained, all these different tools and kind of different stuff, obviously, in this bundle with the course. And let me just give you a little kind of sneak peek on what's going on here. So. Get Amazon Sellers Bundle with all the tools to build a sustainable $10,000 a month working from home business. Now, it can be either $39 bucks for that $87 per month, yes, with a seven-day money-back guarantee, which is pretty awesome. But the big cherry on the pie comes in the annual Sellers Bundle for a few reasons. And I think the main reason is that you get 52 niches per year. Every week you get a niche sent to you without you actually doing anything. Now, let's say you are you like, and I want you to be always kind of like ignited about your business yes but sometimes but some week you might be like a little bit off maybe something with the kids maybe you know something happened and you just can't really do amazon we well, still get the profitable niche so you're like all right you didn't do anything two weeks always do something yes always be productive but for some reason you have this thing so let me show you exactly what's going on you can click there by now and there's going to be a link in the chat right now that will take you to this page. You can check it out yourself if you want to see what's going on there. And But let me explain you. So we have Amazon Sellers course, lifetime, for life, with all the updates. You get it here. Usually it's 49 bucks. You have AMZ Scout Pro extension, which is the pro and the extension that I've showed you before, where you can kind of see everything on the market, like the bird's eye view, which you get annual for 149 The crazy thing that AMZ Scout came up with, Pretty exclusive thing inside 26 niches, 26 products annual. That's $500 for $499 worth of value, kind of thing. And MZ Scout Web App Basic Annual, $179. That's annual. Web App, we're looking for the products. Keyword Tracker to track the keywords to understand how your product is doing, actually, under keywords. Quick View, the one that was also in the under the scissors, remember, to see kind of quickly details about the product is also included. The Calculator to calculate your profitability, yes annual and you get it as well and stock stats i didn't show you stock stat as well but it's kind of easy to explain you can see the stock of a product for example a product has 500 grill brushes in stock tomorrow it has 450 what happened he sold 50 so stock stats will allow you to understand that essentially that's pretty much it now usually this is 1113 dollars for all this bundle which is pretty cool by itself i mean that's still a fair price but with with the crazy discount that amz scout came up with you save with the link in the chat right now you save 814 dollars right and all this that i've mentioned before you get it for 299 bucks only right? you can pay either with card or paypal and there's another thing there's a seven day money back guarantee so if for some reason you're not happy whatever reason you get your money back right you just send them an email explaining like this that and this you get your money back so again you have gonna have the link in the description and i guess you should check it out for sure and see what you think fourth product idea alert we have the revet gun another product that is alive right now and kicking because you can see the google trends from 2004 like that was like 16 years ago it's, it's going up same with mc scout you remember the the uh, now we have another kind of uh graph to use that's the pro extension and with the pro extension as you can see here you can use you can see the rising sales the orange one is standing for sales so the sales for the revet gun right now are going up it's pretty cool and we can see the price is going it's pretty actually pretty straight that's on amazon again again if you're an ebay seller or something that might be a different but for amazon pretty awesome fourth product for you 
you like to be dropping these uh, product ideas, right? So what to avoid? The save money part. That's going to be very good for you to save money. I lost money. And that's just experience. You got to experience. So first, don't sell fragile products. Something that is, let me find something fragile here. A lens for my camera. I mean, you could technically. It's not the easiest products, but I'm seeing like glass stuff. Avoid, not for beginners. Everything here can still be set, set, sold, but not for beginners. Goes into the body, like maybe food, maybe something that goes inside your body, <laughs> whatever that is. Don't, don't try. Because why? People might complain. People might complain. Might make them feel bad. Try avoiding liquids. Don't sell liquids. Why? Again, might go into the body. Child might drink your, um, your, you know, your alcohol. Uh, you know, like whatever. You know, the alcohol gel. Child might drink it. Avoid. Batteries, you know, I had like press so funny with batteries. Like, I've seen times when people write bad reviews on Amazon, and they're like, you know, this product doesn't work, and like, and then you like contact the person, and you're like, dude, like, did you use the batteries? Like, oh, no, come on. So battery, not not only because of this, just you know, batteries don't work sometimes and stuff like that. So avoid seasonal, tricky. Seasonal products are pretty cool. Like I have seasonal products I mentioned before in a barbecue niche. For beginners, could better avoid because. If you get stuck with inventory that didn't sell out from seasonal products, it might be problematic. Apparel, like, you know, I'm, I'm wearing a, a, a yellow T-shirt, which is pretty cool by itself, but maybe if I would order it online, it would be too small. Like, I, I'm not a too big guy. I'm like, oh, you're, you're from all the world. I'm like, I'm like 192 centimeters. I think that's 6.3 or something. Like, and I'm not too big, but not too small. Um, And maybe I order something small, Apparel gets a lot of refunds. I have a friend who runs a Shopify store he's selling apparel but it's not for me but more refunds huge competing brands don't compete with big brands where you're looking to sell because they'll just outsell you not all the time you can still compete you can again solve the problems of the market that's the mindset you need to have not just putting products and let them sell they won't sell like this well they might yes if you choose a good product but kind of fix problems in a niche and then sell Understand what their problems are. What they, do they want? What is missing to them in this specific niche? And you can validate this with AMZ Scout. You can see demand and see how to improve it. Read some reviews. It's going to help you. Big heavy items. Avoid big heavy. Somebody asked, sorry, can't find the names because it's not showing there. I like to be personal usually, but I can't. But, you know, we're doing our best. So big heavy items avoid because uh, expensive shippings and just, yeah, that's mainly it. Dangerous, restricted, pretty much straightforward. Uh, it's hard to, it's, as somebody asked with the hand sanitizers, it's it's dangerous because, not only because the children I mentioned in the beginning, it's also because you get, you're gonna have some certifications and it's it's doable. You can get a certification, your factory might have it, but it's hard for beginners. If you're a beginner, then just, just avoid. And trends. Trends are nice if you know how to catch a trend. Like the masks, that was the question. Like it's like the spinners remember i'll take you back remember 2017 three years ago spinners uh, you know they they just uh how to say they they were there for 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 a wave and a, the wave crashed avoid so six seven nine ten five and one amazon top categories how to find products i have five more for you i have a bunch of other stuff but look when you're on amazon go to best that's a good one guys go to best sellers on Amazon.com, obviously go to bestsellers. And then you're gonna have on the bestsellers, bestsellers, new releases, movers, shakers, most wish for and gift ideas. These are huge categories in, in each category, so to say on Amazon. You can see the best sellers, you can see the movers and shakers. These are products that blew up. You can see the new releases, which is kind of the new release products that are killing it. And what you do next, you can as you can see here, you can check the category. For example, you're gonna take, and I'm gonna show you what I did. I went at this on the left again you choose the department yes for example you, you choose first new releases and then you go to new releases in automotive that's what i did i went to new releases in automotive and car care i know if you're a guy then you and you have a car you want your car to be kind of working well you know you take care of your car hopefully if not then well i mean it's up to you right but <laughs> interior care and then interior care in, in sorry interior care I saw all the products that are newly released, and guess what? AMC Scout Pro Chrome extension can actually show you all the products that are top new releases for the interior care of the automotive department. And why is it cool? Because you can go to each category, right? You can be looking for products in these, 
and check it with the Chrome extension to validate it, to see the good products. For example, you can see the car vacuum there. Hopefully, you're, if you're from mobile, it's going to be hard for you. But, but the car vacuum there, you have somebody who has uh, uh, three reviews. He's making $5,830 per month in revenue with three reviews. That's just a beginner seller like you maybe. So that makes sense, right? Pretty cool. Great product idea alert. That's puzzle for adults. And look at this. <laughs> if you're an adult, probably, you no know chance that you're under 18 here. And if you are, then you're a young and cool entrepreneur. But the thing is, you're at home right now, probably locked. And that's a good idea because puzzles right now are killing it. And we can see it on Google Trends on the right. On the left, we see it on Amazon. Look, on Amazon Scout Pro extension. Look how, how the sales are going up. Remember, the orange one goes for sales, just going up. Now, this might be a trend product, but I'll tell you one thing about this pandemic. Let's just stop here for a minute. Let's breathe because, you know, I'm running and because I'm excited. But the thing is, People are going to have sticky habits forming after right now that they're doing stuff. Like, hopefully you're productive. But if you're not, then like, maybe you're used to watching TV. Spend one month watching TV and don't go back to work. Do you know how you're going to feel? You're going to feel, oh, man, it was so nice yesterday, like watching the whatever, you, right? That makes sense. So, but it's the same for the puzzles. Maybe the trends will stick. Now, if you're fast with a trend, you can make a lot of money. And again, if you have a trend that was already fine, because you can see like on the Google Trends, the puzzle was kind of rising up. I think these are Christmases, but it was still going kind of up. Now it just blew up. Same product idea. You weren't expecting the one after the other one, right? <laughs> but that's Elastic Bands for suing. This one literally blew up. Look at this. It was selling a little bit. Yes, as you can see on the left, on the sales. Um, and then it just blew up. And why? I'll tell you a little secret there. Uh, because I think people are creating products are related to kind of the pandemic at home alone. Yeah, maybe. Think about it. And elastic bands for suing, yes. Uh, th that's something that really blew up. You can provide those. Or just people are doing, we <laughs> have something to speak about in a bit. But yeah, as you can see, this girl there is suing and she needs some elastic bands for that. Seventh product idea, three in a row. Yes, that's yeast. As you can see, the yeast. <laughs> it's so funny. The yeast actually was also pretty much selling. Again, that goes inside your body, kind of, not the yeast itself. But then, okay. but but it, it really blew up right now. And why? As, I don't know. I, I switched to bread right now. Usually, I kind of don't eat bread because I kind of work out and all the stuff. The gym is closed, and I just eat bread every morning, which is pretty cool in itself. It's tasty, and it kind of spread butter on this, and I had some caviar sometimes, you know, the good life. But like, <laughs> but but the thing is, people are making all these, uh, how you call it? I think people are just watching TV, and they're making sandwiches. I think that's why it really blew up, like, it's my idea. And just, yeah. So you can see the yeast is also, it was going up already, but now it just blew up. So 11, number 11, how to find products. Alibaba top categories. Are you still with me? Well, if you are, then thank you a lot. I just did a little stop. I will answer all your questions. Remember, please stick around until the end. I will get everything you have answered. I promise. All right. And if I want to have an answer, then I'll make sure to help you find an answer with time. Okay, really. It's really important to me because I know how valuable your time is. And I know I'm blubbering about like caviar and mornings and gym, but Alibaba Top Categories is the 11th kind of way to find products. What does it mean? Remember, we're speaking about Alibaba. So if you go to alibaba.com with a place to find products and then down on the page you're gonna have top ranking products that's like it's on a silver platter to you you click on the top ranking products it's gonna take you here where you can choose the category for example top products in packing and printing home and garden sports and entertainment and then under each you're gonna have the top products selling there so for example in the chisel we have some wood carving sets people are really doing some wood carving right now they're at home they're kind of bored or they just want to try new things and as you can see, that's a great way to find products because Alibaba, you're going to be also getting your products that you want to sell on Amazon. But also here, you can uh, check the best ones according to Alibaba, of course. And then you go to AMZ Scout, to Amazon to validate them if you want to sell them on Amazon again. Rebate websites. What is a rebate website? Okay, so rebate websites are websites where you can actually, for example, rebatekey.com, where you can actually score some deals as a buyer to get stuff for free. But the cool thing here, is that many times people are launching products on Amazon, yes, or anywhere, and they do rebates. Rebates means somebody's buying your product, you give him the money back. So for example, he buys it for 20 bucks, you give him $15 back, all right? So that's actually 75% of kind of coupon. But what's the difference between a rebate and a coupon? A rebate usually covers usually 100% of the sales. So for example, somebody sells a product for $20, 
you as a seller sell it for twenty dollars and you pay back the buyer twenty dollars why would you do that you're like well, well what <laughs> what is the what what does it make sense well two things first brand awareness you want to make people aware of your product so you cannot give it away and also you can use it to promote your product on amazon to kind of get it up in the algorithm that's a bit more kind of uh not that easy to understand maybe all it is you just promote products by selling the more you sell on amazon the higher you go on ranks that's why you need selling products but people launch products and on the rebate websites you can find tons of good products because people launch them just go through rebate websites it's rebatekey.com enjoy some deals and grab some ideas for your products eight niche idea alert diy do it yourself obviously you need to do a lot of things yourself but Wood carving, you can see on the left, people with chisels. On the right, we have some scissors. People are creating the DIY niche is kind of exploding right now because people are trying new things. They're doing new things at home, DIY. Good. Number 13, how to find products. Strong, are you are you still here? Like really, I'm really giving my best. 15 ways and you can, hopefully there's gonna be a replay and then you can watch it like again, go through it. And I promise you, that it will give you many more ideas to find products. And of course, you need to grasp the most important things are like understanding that you need to fill a gap in the market or at least uh, kind of answer questions with your product. Well, <laughs> not exactly this, but like there's a problem, your product solves this problem better than the competition in a market where there is a problem and there is a demand. That's like an easy way to understand it kind of thing. Again, I'm always here for you, YouTube or my email, strong competitor shop, what does it mean? On any website, here's just Amazon, for example, we're going to have uh, the shops of the competitors, right? Go to the shop of the competitor that sells well for any given niche and see if he has any other products. Because if he sells well, he knows something, right? Let me tell you for sure, because where do you find success? You follow successful people because, you know, you can learn from them. You don't need to copy them, like, you know, like word by word, so to say, or person to person. You know, you take what you like from them. And implement it to your own character to your own life and this will make you successful and the same on amazon look at those those who are selling check out their shops on the amazon for example you're on random for example this is just fire blanket yes but on the right you have jj care there and you click on jj care he might be a good seller you check out all his products see what he has you might find some good stuff there nature idea alert number nine home gym home gym People work out at home. I kind of go to like uh, a nearby, I have a place to work out with like elastic cables, you know, just get some blood flowing through my guns. Guns are kind of, you know, became pistols now, <laughs> if any, if not, you know, like BB guns. But home gym blew up because people are working out right now more at home. They're locked and hopefully again, they're gonna be used to the strand and continue with it. So home gym. Facebook deal groups, way number 14 to find products. Go to Facebook, type in Amazon deals, and you can have different groups like this. In these groups, there are tons of posts today of people promoting products. A little tip to you, if you are launching your product, you can go to the admin of the group. Usually you pay them like five, 10 bucks or zero if you are good in blah, blah, blah. Then, uh, and they will just post your product there and they get money for this affiliate commissions because they share your product, they share like Amazon links, they get a little sale, uh, they get a little commission from the sale. But in these groups, you can find lots of deals. Are you ready? Yes. No, oh no, that's, no, that's that was not yet the other thing. <laughs> Never mind. But Amazon, I have still one more to share with you. <laughs> the one more pretty cool niche uh, idea. So stay with me. But this one is a really nice way to find products. Amazon wine reviewers, I need a drink for a second. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, please type in yes in the chat if you're still here. I really appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying. I'm drinking here. Right. So you go to Amazon.com slash review slash top reviewers. What's the idea here? You're going to find all the top reviewers, people who love to review stuff, who love to review stuff. Why would you do that? Because you're going to have different, you know, kind of types of, of reviewers there, right? And then once you find a specific you're on the top, some of them are gonna have wine voice review of product, right? Wine voice is kind of an, um, uh, a thing that Amazon has where you as registered brands on Amazon, all right? You can get a free, um, like you can, you can ask for people to give a free review. So essentially they buy a product and they give you a review. Why is it, how is it connected to good products? Well, for those people, that have the option to ask for wine reviews they have to have registered brands on amazon and that takes more kind of process not really hard these days but the thing is 
um, usually the products that are getting launched by sellers who already have some experience might be a bit better than for beginners because as a beginner generally like just to be kind of you know like anything in life there's a higher chance to make a mistake right so in, in these products you can see people who have the brand registry and then they kind of um it's a bit hard to explain i'm trying to do my best they like people buy this from them okay and then the uh the top reviewers do the wine review of the product and then it's going to appear like this so these products top uh, bottom line i have a higher chance of being good products right because they have brand registry the sellers right if that makes sense now i want to go back to the uh uh, just one second where was that i want to remind you what we uh what we have here so i wanted to remind you about the bundle i will answer all your questions about it just wanted to remind you that in the bundle you have the course that will explain you everything about whatever you're writing whether it's sourcing finding the product what exactly to type in the amazon program extension what exactly to type in the web app how to get a product from china to amazon how to get the reviews for a product it's like two and a half hours course aside from this feel free to reach out to me i will make sure to help you because it matters to me look if somebody tells me it's like the thing i have if somebody tells me vova i made a step and i did something thanks to you that really makes me feel good uh and just and you know i i want to change lives of people that i don't know that's the thing of mine and hopefully i could change yours so you can learn how to find a product product find a reality product, product ideas get current in niches and product with extremely high potential that's remember you're getting the niche every week get guidance on sourcing your product and opening amazon account you're gonna have all the guidance find the best keywords for listing and pay-per-click campaigns pay-per-click means advertising on amazon stay ahead of the market click on the link there in the chat to check out this yourself but i want to go again here to the bundle explain you on the bundle again the course get it with a lifetime for those like karen thank you for the question that asked about so to say how they can get parts of this give a message to the support they will help you and if you if some problems drop me an email i'll make sure to follow up with you and help you i want every question answered i want each one satisfied here right then you get extension pro annual 149 exclusive insight which is the craziest thing here because every week remember you're like watching tv like i have a tv there haven't turned it on for a while i don't really watch tv but i guess it's cool sometimes right yeah but you get like every week you get a niche and a product niche product niche product maybe you get niche niche product 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 niche niche product and then you get a web app basic annual the one where you find the products remember and then keyword tracker basic annual to track your keywords quick view annual remember the ones that are on the page again yes let me just show you this is the quick view this part here yes remember on the scissors you get the pro extension with everything here yes all the niche of oh, none of the niches the niches are here all the products you get the web app where you can change things here you can do different filters remember let's just remove the filter. let's click on find products boom 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 more products 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 and you can see validated here i'm telling you i'm just presenting you all the stuff right where were we and we have the course of course as i mentioned we have all, everything inside and where is the shop and bundle usually 1113 dollars with discount 814 dollars and that's $299, everything together, that's $25 per month per day that would be less than a buck. Think about it. And you get the chance to do something new, or maybe you're already a seller, just improve your life as a seller to make it easier. Less than a buck a day, $299, there's 365 days in the year, $299, think about it. It's, and it, it, to me, it makes sense, okay? And you get free products kind of every week. Now, I want to go back to the last, kind of um niche and then i want to get back to your questions so dance product idea is rolling tray <laughs> you know you like rolling you know it was 420 just a few days ago well happy for 20 for 20 20 for 23 now but it's going up i guess people are bored at home what they do yeah some of them you know just chill out so it's going up as you can see also on amazon and also on the google trends look you have the bitly link there go there and you're gonna have the limited discount for this bundle will this bundle allow you good product research you're thinking well i'm gonna be looking for products like will it yes you have the course to answer your questions you have me generally on email to help you that's you know that's 100 cool and you have this tools that you've seen in work i showed you everything working and you know it hopefully it's gonna be good for you now the price is gonna be limited it's gonna go up 
and I'm not just not just saying this for scarcity. It's just how it goes. The software companies improve their tools. Yes, it takes some investment to improve the tool, and they always improve. And that's what AMZ Scout does. There will be actually soon big improvements to the keywords tools as well, right? And that allows more investments. That's why while the price is secured, get it, enjoy the bundle, find your products, and if you have any more questions, shoot. I want everything to get answered. Use your chance. You have me here. Um, I'm really enjoying this webinar. You're entertaining and very good, explaining a lot of information in a short period of time. Good example, it's easy to relate to. Thank you very much. I learned a lot, and I'm excited and feeling more I can do this. Gave me the courage to get into action. Karen, Palm Desert, California. Stay safe. Uh, Karen, uh, that's really inspiring for me to hear that. Really, thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's that was my goal actually as well to kind of give you the actual steps because sometimes I see like webinars. I mean, there are sales in webinar, obviously, yes. But once people are, you know, I, I <laughs> how to say, they sell but without even explaining, that's kind of not fair, right? If it wouldn't be fair if I wouldn't share with you what I promised as well. But I guess I did my best, and yeah, uh, Karen, enjoy. If you have any questions, shoot. And you know, that's good that you've gotten the the courage uh, to to do to take action. And it's it's a big opportunity. You know, the online generally for the previous question, the online sphere is gonna blow up. I also have a YouTube channel. I earned through some other things like affiliate marketing. There, D. I can see the traffic going up. The same on Amazon. I still have a like a, a live brand on Amazon. And just so you know, I want to share with you that I'm an actual seller. You know, some people who are uh, not selling on Amazon, they're selling stuff, and they they are just like you know, I'm um, kind of you know. For example, look, I'm not sure if you can see that. Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's seen or not. Um, for 30 days, 22.24k in sales, about 12 more percent than last year. That's pretty cool. 34 units today, 627 bucks sold today. And I don't know. I don't need this to brag. Like I'm literally wearing like uh, pants that are I'm very very old. This is not what interests me. But what interests me that with money you can reach more people. You can do more things. And I actually sell there, right? I know what I'm talking about. That's why it sounded entertaining to you, I guess, all right? And I'm in the game, I'm in the trenches. So I'm glad that I could share this with you and hopefully, you know, enjoy. Is there any more questions uh, aside from Karen's? Um, thank you, Karen, again. That's my email there. You have the link to the to the bundle there, bit.ly, mzscout75, HTTPs or whatever, whatever you prefer. Enjoy. So your questions, my answers, ask away. And there's the link, by the way, to these uh, discounts and the, the uh, bundle that I shared with you. That's You can go to bit.ly slash scout 75 Pretty easy, or it's going to be in the chat. But the first question I've gotten was, where am I from? I was born in Ukraine, uh, in Zaporozhye, and I speak Russian. Well, that was not a question what I speak, but I, I speak Russian, uh, Hebrew, and also English. And once you find a great product, idea do you tell us how to source them where do you get the seeds back great question so i source most of my product through alibaba which is like a kind of chinese it's not as like a chinese only website but there you can find manufacturers for many products why alibaba and alibaba is connected straight to amz scout tools now what does it mean it's connected straight it's not like they're partners not really but amz scout has specific links to send you to alibaba and i'll tell you more when you click on the link for example you're looking for seeds back on AMZ Scout itself, all right? You can find Sids Bath on AMZ Scout itself. For example, if you just type in the keyword in the product database, Sids Bath, it will show you tons of Sids Baths, right? And then you can go to Alibaba. Aside of Alibaba, you have tons of other places, like global sources, or you can connect with manufacturers directly. I would not recommend it to you if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, I would recommend you to go to the uh, Alibaba because it's much easier. You can validate factories there and all the stuff. And you're probably asking like, Boba, pretty awesome, but like, how do I use Alibaba? Well, it's in the course that you get with this bundle. There you are getting explained how to use it, how to talk to manufacturers. And if you have some problems or something, you're always welcome to contact me. I have my YouTube, you know, find me on YouTube, Bova Evan, and I respond to each comment. So feel free to drop me comments there. Uh, I have my email. I drop it in the uh, chat as well later on. So you can send me emails. Really feel free. I, I want to help you reach your goals and get to wherever you are. That's the big idea actually behind my YouTube. 
I mean, let's get back to the questions. I'm just getting, you know, if you have any problems with the, oh, that's not a question. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just so noob with this one. So how can we verify totally new products? Do you advise sell totally new products? I'm not necessarily sure what you mean totally new products, but if you mean like totally new products as products that were never on the market, that's what you mean, then I gotta tell you a, th a thing about Amazon FBA mindset. Like top header is different, maybe. I, I'm not sure how like it works there because I never really saw there. On Amazon, I have experience of more than three and a half years. I started in 2017 and sold over $700,000 worth of goods on Amazon. That's not my profits, yes, my profits, through all the time with taxes and everything, around the 20%, which is pretty cool, the margin, like if you take some brick and mortar businesses, like it's gonna be good, but it depends, some are with higher, but you know what I mean? So, and again, back to the mindset of the seller, you need to find, so to say, products that already have demand on Amazon, for example. Of course, if you go to some other place, some other marketplace, same thing, you need to verify demand. If there is demand, go where there is demand, low competition, where you can out, outbeat the competition so to say because if you find a new product and you just try to kind of bring it to market no one's going to find it that's the thing with new products unless you can stick it in a niche for example you have some new cool barbecue brush that you know created it's like you know it cleans all the grill like in two seconds if you put it under grill brushes then you have chance but if you invented some really cool thing that 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 does something people are not aware of it's going to be hard for you so i hope this answers it I'm going to answer again questions in the end. So please stick around until the end. There's a lot of good things uh, to come. Do you think it's worth to sell face masks, hand sanitizers, and gloves right now on Amazon? No, it's already saturated. And those sharks who got it back in the beginning, they got some money there. But it's also not going to be easy in terms of uh, how to say it's the lots of regulations for these products. So I would recommend not to touch it on Amazon specifically. What are your tips, advices for high sales and low competition products? like specific niches, look, I will tell you the mindset of finding products. And one thing about the, I'm sorry again, I don't know who asked this, but I mean, hopefully, yeah. So, you know, I, I recognize you, like whoever you are, I wish I could, but I can't because it doesn't give me the names here for some reason. But anyway, what are tips for advice to high sales and low competition products? Let me show you actually, you know what, while we're here, let me show you, oh. So for example, in the AMZ Scout, Yes, that's going to be a much better way to show you actually the answer, right? Low competition. Well, go for low reviews. Yes, something that is low reviews, five to say 50 or 45 reviews here. Something that is not does not have many reviews, that does significant amount of sales or so to say either sales or revenue per month. I would say the price generally on Amazon, price it over 20 usually. I mean, you can still get really cheap products for for 50, I mean, sorry, you can still get profitable products for like $10, but because Amazon takes fees and everything, it's uh, it's a bit more hard, you know, to, to compete. So I recommend higher prices. And how to say, the rating here should be something like 3.5. Why? You wanna have rating of the reviews, it means something that is, something that is there to fix, right? So if the rating of the review of the product is 3.5 on the stars, it still makes 10K per month, yes? And it still has low reviews. That means that even though this product has a problem, it's still selling. And that's very smart here, why? Because then you can tap into a niche that you can fix something in this niche, right? You're getting me here. You can fix something in this niche, improve in order to still sell with low reviews because he's selling with low reviews. And your rating is going to be higher because you fixed the problem. And you're going to get more reviews. And I'll tell you why. Because people will respect the part, yes, they respect the part that you fix something in the product. They're, maybe they're aware of the pro problem. I'm sorry, the problem. For example, let's take something. Let's, let's come up with a dog leash, yes? Like, do you love dogs, cats? Well, cats, you can't really use a dog leash, but dogs, dog leash, yes? maybe you know some leashes the dog kind of gets out of the leash yes and that used to be a problem that's why they made the, the leash kind of you know kind of get a bit stronger around the head that's an example of a fixed problem in a niche the niche has a demand there are dogs yes i'm gonna go back yes but uh it had a problem so somebody fixed it and it was still selling right so people still wanted kind of to um, yeah, my email. Yes, my email is Vova Evan. Let me type it in. Yeah, Yana, you can type it in my email. 
V O V A E V E N one nine nine one at gmail.com. Feel free to shoot me emails. I'll respond to each one of you, promise. I mean, let's just interact. Why not? <laughs> and so, yeah, so again, uh, just water tips, high sales and low competition. In high sales, you can try high sales here. You can find something with at least either revenue or sales and low competition. Again, if there's low reviews and it's still selling, it must be lower competition or this product just fixed something in the niche. He understood a big gap in the market and he's still selling. Or he's very good at ranking himself on Amazon, which is still like, which is a big part of itself. But before ranking, before anything, think about your product, how you become better than others and fix problems of a niche. If you have any more questions, whoever asked that, ask. Love your energy, Boba. Thanks for the info. No problem. That's my energy. I'm really happy to be presenting to you. If your life changes even a little bit, I'm happy. And I wish you good luck, really. Live, enjoy. I know it's not an easy time, but I mean, oh, no more questions. How come? Well, let me go back. Oh, is this the best time? All right, perfect. There's a good is now the best time to start an Amazon business. Some people like myself are a bit scared to launch during these times, especially since I haven't seen launch, since I haven't even launched my first product yet. Yeah, I understand the kind of the, well, let me explain first. Let me touch the second part because that's something you've shared more personal. When I was launching my first product, I was a bit scared. There was no pandemic back then, yes, but you know, how to say, anytime you're trying to do something new, you know the you know the feeling uh -huh. that inside is like will this work what might happen and you are right something might happen we need to be realistic you know it's business and in business things can happen but there is a chance to actually make some money and to get to whatever you're looking to get but now to get to your question is now the best time to start an Amazon business. I'll tell you why it's a great time. And I don't know if it's the best time. Like, I'll tell you why. When I, when I, when I jumped into Amazon late 2016, early 2017, people were saying Amazon is too saturated. I don't know. They were saying this in 2014. They're saying it now, maybe. Again, it's a lot about mindset because, again, if you can solve a, a need in the market, there's always needs in markets. You know, you just need to identify these markets and kind of, solve the problems of these markets if you are able to do that there's no competition to you unless somebody copies what you did but you can still improve all right and you can in this so to say if, if you kind of come up with some specific fix to your product that really fix something that other people so to say didn't fix you can patent it you can put a patent on this product it's a bit more complicated but you can kind of secure a good spot it's now the best time best i don't know is the best time it's a great time why I'll tell you, this one is going to blow your mind. Whoever asked this. Look, people are getting used to selling online. I'm sorry, to buying online. Yes, they're sitting at home and they're getting used to that. Let me tell you a little story. Back in the day, people were, you know, they were going to, they had a car. Like somebody was driving a car, like a nice Corvette there. And, you know, maybe with a open, uh, you know, with the roof. And I would like this one. <laughs> That's why I thought about it, right? But the thing is, you went to a gas station, right, to get some gasoline, right, just to fuel your car. And there was the gasoline, there was the gas station. You would come, put gas into your car, and, you know, continue enjoying the ride. You know, the wind at your face, and I'm just imagining. But whatever it is to you, and why am I telling you this? But right now, how, when you go to, the, to, to get some gas for your car, what happens? You buy ice cream. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Maybe you buy cigarettes if you're smoking. You buy something more and why? How did you get used to that? Well, because near the gas station, they've built a shop. Somebody said, man, like, look, they're getting some gas there. Why not sell them like something connected to gas? Maybe we're gonna sell something connected to their car. That's why on the gas stations we have, um, you're, you're, for example, you're used to buy maybe the the liquid for your for the for your you know for the for the glass. Um, you know, looking for your for for the mirrors, oh not mirrors, how you call it? You know, the front, whatever separates you from the wind. Oh my god, my English is not my first language, so I'm trying my best. But you see the idea? So people are getting used to something right now. They're at home and they're shopping online. And of course, people like us sellers, we can bring products to them. Or Amazon, they just kind of bring more and more options to them to buy. It's a great time to start. You just need to be aware of exactly which market are you entering like so to say 
Is it going up? As we've you can go through the slides later on. Hopefully, it's going to be a replay. If not, then I'm not sure. But hopefully, there will be. I'll do my best to get you guys a replay. And go through to see what makes a good product to sell. The seasonality, something that is trending, and something that's going up. 